across the nation of bleeding green fans. You would have thought the Eagles won the Super Bowl with the amount of <clears throat> with the amount of excitement that was brought to the table that transpired in the first round. And I think these moves alone so far to what was to come in the rest of the draft, I think these moves have swung the NFC East more into the Eagles' favor. What is up, everybody? Bird brothers and sisters alike. Lindy Zone is in again for the touchdown, taking the lead for the Philadelphia Eagles. One video at a time. And, man, do we have a first round to review here. Um, I can't recall a, I can't recall a first round uh, to my eye that was really to the magnitude of what transpired that first day of the 2022 draft um, to what the Eagles were able to do with one pick and one trade. <laughs> oh man. I, it's, and it's still, it's still, I'm still sitting here in disbelief, just talking about what the Eagles were able to do. And as we know, um, you know, first 10 picks go past. We thought that there was that we thought a trade up was going to happen, especially with the way some of the, you know, some of the players fell people looking for people looking for sauce Gardner and, um, Stingley jr. We understood Kayvon Thibodeau was a top 30 visit. He ends up going to the, uh, New York football giants. Um, Garrett Wilson ends up going and well, we thought that for some, we thought that the that if the Eagles were going to do any sort of trade up, it had it had to have been for a guy like Jordan Davis, um, and maybe Kyle Hamilton. But when you compare the two positions at the same time, when have the Eagles really prioritized the safety position the way that they did, or that they do, on? both sides of the trenches between the offensive and defensive line. They knew at that point in time that wasn't a guy that they could afford to miss out on, especially with the Baltimore Ravens right there at 14 to snatch them right up. Another, <laughs> another team that has a big defensive focus. So with that, the Eagles made the trade with the Houston Texans at 13. And they couldn't allow the Ravens to take Jordan Davis. So they hopped Baltimore and stole him from right from uh, right from under their feet. What he is going to do, what he is going to do in terms of a trans a defensive transformation, um, could arguably be second to none. Um, Jordan Davis, a player that was arguably considered the best defensive tackle prospect, is now a Philadelphia Eagle. And what he provides to this team is something that they have inconsistently been able to provide for a staple such as Fletcher Cox. Um, to that, yeah, Javon, Javon Hargrave has provided this to a certain degree, but the depth hasn't helped over the course of time. Run defense has had a bit of a inconsistency over the course of time. Now, while <laughs> Jordan Davis would most certainly provide that, not only to the run game, but in just rushing the quarterback, that frees up guys like Fletch. That frees up that frees up guys like Javon Hargrave, the edge rushers as well, bringing in Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat on the outside as well as everyone that's a part of that depth chart. <laughs> what a force to be reckoned with in the middle, and hopefully this provides 
the extra push into seeing a better pass rush going forward. Now, with that out of the way, we get to we get to deeper into the draft here. Midway point. Eagles are sitting at 18. And all of a sudden, a trade happens. <laughs> AJ Brown is a Philadelphia Eagle, and on top of that, they give him a deal right off the bat, four years, a hundred million dollars. And on a surface level, you already know what this is going to do for the quarterback and Jalen Hurts. But on a deeper level, the stuff that's invaluable is the friendship that the two already possess. Um, whether it was whether it was being at you know whether it was being at um, off-season parties to um, just us seeing them working together in the days weeks leading up to the draft, a already proven NFL talent averaging close to a thousand yards a season, just under a thousand yards. He almost has three thousand in three years, multiple touchdowns, and really that's something that most of these rookies are not going to provide immediately to this offense um as we have known the eagles have tried to grab some veteran receivers in the beginning of free agency Allen robinson didn't work out um calvin ridley didn't work out as well as others robert woods ended up not working out <laughs> What better way to do it in the draft and to give up, really, 18 and 101? They did it without losing a second round pick. They did it without losing their higher third round pick. They did it without losing their extra first and their extra second in the next two years. <laughs> you, you can't help but to give it up to Howie Roseman for getting this deal done. You can't help but you can't help but to give it up to. Uh, the Tennessee Titans for agreeing to this sort of deal, and you're already seeing across the Twitter space how many players were unhappy uh, for the Titans with this decision. But that's on a surface level. Where this goes into a further obvious detail is the fact that they have given Jalen Hurts the best means for a proper evaluation on what they hope to have in a franchise quarterback. No excuses now. <laughs> Absolutely no excuses. You lock this man up for an additional four years on top of the final year remaining in his rookie deal in AJ Brown. You're grabbing a you're grabbing a defensive specimen to go alongside Fletcher Cox and Javon Hargrave when you've already bolstered your pass rush on the edges with a guy like Hassan Reddick. You've already locked up Josh Sweat. And there was plenty of moves left for the Eagles to make in this draft. And this was the top of the totem pole. This is where they started. And, well, like I said in my overall evaluation, this is where you're going to have to look at it and see, well, show us the product on the field. Um, yeah, man, I'm still, I'm still speechless on, I'm still speechless on it. I'm still in, I'm still in disbelief. I'm still in a uh, means of confusion that this is the, how he wrote, you know, this is the same how he Roseman that we've showed the amount of disappointment in him for previous classes and, you know, draft misses. We're still waiting on. We're still waiting on a guy like Andre Dillard, who they spent the first round pick on. We're still waiting on. You know, we're still waiting on Jalen Rager. JJ Ortega Whiteside ends up getting moved to a last resort um, and converting to tight end. The shock value that the first round provided, second to none. <laughs> Absolutely second to none. But. The story will continue as OTAs and training camp approaches as to where this all ends up. And, man, 
there is not an ounce of disappointment in this first round to what the Eagles were able to do. <laughs> Fantastic moves. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Did you have any other um, did you have any other alternatives to this? Was was any other um, was any other strategy close to what we were able to accomplish? Did you have other selections in mind? Let me know down in the comments. And with that, I'm going to get out of here. Appreciate you guys sticking around. And as always, fly eagles, fly bleed green. Lindy is out. Take care of yourselves, everyone. See you next time.